This videotape is designed to help you solve physics problems. It consists first of a review of vectors, followed by three example problems on vectors, a review of projectile motion, followed by four example problems of projectile motion. Each of these problems is computer animated to help you understand the physics that's involved, and each of the problems is fully solved. Before watching this videotape, read your textbook. Pay attention to the concepts of vector, vector component, vector addition, resultant vector, and projectile motion. When viewing this tape, make use of your VCR controls to stop the tape, to reverse the tape, and review previous materials. In general, use your VCR controls to move through the tape at your own pace. We begin now with a review of vectors. Problem number one reads, an underwater probe leaves a stationary submarine and is tracked to move three kilometers in a direction 30 degrees east of north, two kilometers 30 degrees south of east, and 2.5 kilometers 35 degrees south of west, and then stops. Find its final displacement from the submarine by the method of components. All right, let's take a closer look at that motion. Here is our probe and some compass directions for reference. The probe first moves in a direction 30 degrees east of north and then turns and moves in a direction of 30 degrees south of east, turns again and moves in a direction 35 degrees south of west. Let's put some heads on the vectors representing our displacement and fill in the angles, that's 30 degrees, 30 degrees again here, 35 degrees there. The magnitudes of our vectors, 3 kilometers for the first one, 2 kilometers for the second, 2.5 kilometers for the third. The resulting displacement of our vector would be a vector drawn from the tail of our first vector to the head of our last vector. It has a magnitude we'll represent by r and makes an angle with respect to the x-axis or the direction east of theta. The problem is to find both r and theta. You will get more out of this tape if you try to solve these problems before watching the solutions. This would be a good time to stop your VCR and attempt to solve this problem. Here is a figure of our problem on our electronic blackboard. Each of the vectors has been labeled A, B, and C. We have each of the magnitudes displayed up here in the corner. Each of the vectors has been placed on a xy coordinate axis with the positive direction of the y axis coinciding with the direction that we called north and the positive direction of the x axis coinciding with the direction we called east. The angle theta 2 is 30 degrees, the angle theta 3 is 35 degrees, both with respect to the x axis. The original angle for our first vector of 30 degrees was given with respect to what is now the y-axis. I've simply changed that to an angle with respect to the x-axis by subtracting the 30 degrees from 90 degrees. That makes that angle consistent with our other two angles, all are now with respect to the x-axis. In this problem, we're told to do it by the method of components, so we don't have to search for a solution here. The first thing to do in such a problem is to break each of the vectors down into their x and y components. Let's find the x components of each of our vectors first. a sub x would be equal to the magnitude of a, 3 kilometers times the cosine of 60 degrees. And if you work that out on your calculator, 
you will get a value here of 1.50 kilometers. B sub x is the magnitude of B, 2 kilometers, times the cosine of 30 degrees. That gives a value of 1.73 kilometers. And C sub x, magnitude of 2.5 kilometers, times the cosine of 35 degrees gives us a value of 2.05 kilometers. And now we want to be a little careful here. This component is in the direction that would be the negative direction on the x-axis. So we're going to make this component negative so negative 2.05 kilometers is then the component in the x direction of c. Let's do the same thing for the y components. a sub y, the magnitude of a, 3 kilometers multiplied by the sine of 60 degrees. That turns out to be 2.60 kilometers. B sub y, the magnitude of B, 2 kilometers times the sine of 30 degrees. And that is simply 1. Now that is also in a negative direction, if we take a quick look at that, the y component of b is downwards and hence is negative. So I'm going to place then a negative sign on that. Our y component of b is negative. And our y component of c, 2.5 kilometers times the sine of 35 degrees gives me a value of 1.43 and it too is negative. It's in the downwards or negative y direction. All right, they are our components. The next thing to do is to add the components together so that we can find for doing it for the y component of our resultant first we simply add up these three components. And if you do that, you will find that this is 0.166 kilometers. And if you do the same thing for our x components, then you would find that the, putting it over here, the x component of our resultant vector is 1.18 eight kilometers. Now, to find our resultant magnitude, we use the Pythagorean theorem so that the magnitude of R is the square root of our x component squared, 1.18 kilometers, that quantity squared, plus our y component, 0.166 kilometers, that quantity squared. And if you work this out, this comes out to be 1.19 kilometers for our magnitude. Our angle theta with respect to the x-axis is that angle whose tangent, that's the inverse tangent, is our y component 0.166 kilometers divided by 1.18 kilometers. So you find that ratio 0.166 over 1.18 and then take the inverse tangent of that and you will find an angle of 8.01 degrees. 
So that is our angle and that is our magnitude and that is the solution to our problem. You will notice that I've carried these these solutions out to three significant figures and I will do that consistently. I will assume that all of our data are accurate to three significant figures unless it's stated otherwise. You may differ from the answers that I get in the last significant figure. That's not important. It simply represents some errors introducing, introduced by rounding on your calculator or on my calculator. All right, that's our problem. Let us move on then to our next problem.